Oh, well, from a purely aesthetic point of view, contrast in terms of line and shape and and colour. So those hills, you know, the sort of voluptuous, sexy hills, <laughs> natural, organic, and then them getting carved up, and then the, uh, the the buildings being these very abstract elements, horizontal, vertical lines, um, geometric patterns imposed on an otherwise organic landscape. There was a, a lot of that behind the, the paintings I was doing at the time, which in a sense is a, a, another way of saying, uh, of addressing the way in which we inhabit the land, the impact that we have as human beings on the land, the, the structures, uh, the inter interventions we bring to nature and we interact with. I'm not sure, probably the drawing to start with because the work that I do is, is preceded normally by drawings out in the field taking photographs doing drawings and the, the two media media working working together you know uh, so there, there would have been some background images that uh, I do remember printing this 1970 yeah I was using <coughs> I had taught myself to screen print in 1968 when I was at, at Teachers College because the equipment was there and uh, it's, it's, it's not a difficult medium, it's very simple actually. So I had taught myself and, and I fetch up in, um, in Bottle Creek teaching at Mana College and I was able to use the, the, my room, my art, my, you know, art room at, at Mana College in the school holidays. To, to print and uh, there was one of the students who was a sixth form student who used to come and help because he was interested yeah and his name was Jeff Crombie otherwise Noel Crombie of Split Ends <laughs> and I remember us printing this this print so um, I guess what I, it, it was pure economy there would have been drawings there would have been photographs and I used them for this it's an extension of the drawing, the drawing book. What was the, what was the main motivation? Uh, really, it was responding to a, a, a request. It's a job. <laughs> it, it, it was a, yeah. You know, it's a different from doing a painting. It's, it's like a commission, I suppose. Mm -hmm. You're asked to do something. So, I, you know, you respond. But as a painter, it's not like that. One responds to one's own um, ideas as they emerge. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you're driven to do something because you just feel you have mm -hmm. to. It's something that you feel you have to say, so you say it. Whereas with illustration, there's very much that sense of you're doing this for somebody. Mm -hmm. mm. It's a different feeling. There's a, there's a sense of a responsibility that goes with it. No, I don't think so. I think I, I think I just aligned it with the approach that I took with my work anyway. Mm. Yeah. It, it, although, you know, taking into account um, the constraints of size uh, and probably the need to um, well also the the need to align it with the the the, the writing that it was accompanying it, it, it and probably also allowing space for its titles that that kind of thing I, I there must have been an element of that mm. I suppose I learnt stuff though, you know, you do. Yeah, I guess that was kind of my experience. Well, mostly, mostly the learning was, uh, well, the, my experience was the, the compromises and having to, you know, fit in with um, the, the 
constraints around the, the way in which the, the final work was going to be printed. Because with screen printing, I do the printing myself. So th there's a sort of a, a coherence in the uh, design, the approach, the, the method and everything. The final, the final outcome is, yeah, it, 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 everything is knit, knitted together from beginning to end, whereas the illustration, you, you sort of do it hoping that it's going to work out okay and then you send it off and then you think, oh gosh, is it going to work or not? Because there was no way of knowing, because especially with work that was going to be two colours and which two colours are they going to work together and how how are they going to look and what is the density of the paint and how does what is the final colour when you overlay this one with that one? You don't really know any of that. But with, a, with screen printing, that's, there is a familiarity with, with the whole process from beginning to end. And so there is a sense of um, confidence. I don't think I felt the same confidence. Maybe that you sense that there's something tentative in these drawings. I think, why didn't I let loose a bit more? Now, looking back on them. 